Hi everybody, welcome to my how to make a sourdough starter from scratch video. This one's been a long time coming so I hope you enjoy it. What you need to make a sourdough starter is in the beginning half a cup of organic whole wheat flour. Um, organic and whole grain is really important because it has a lot of goodies in the flour that refined flour doesn't have. We're mixing that with unsweetened pineapple juice, a half a cup. The reason for pineapple juice is because it is acidic so uh, acidity favours lactic acid bacteria growth and it's also got the natural sugars from the juice as well um, which help to feed the, the yeast that's starting to grow, that will start to grow in the batter. So you mix that really really well incorporating a lot of oxygen in the mixing and that also helps to, to feed the yeast. So we just cover that with a plate or a bit of paper towel and a rubber band and leave it for 12 hours. So here we are the same day in the evening. We're not doing anything to this except stirring it. So we're just trying to add in lots more oxygen to help feed that yeast and get it going. Uh, we're not doing any feeding or adding any anything at all. So mix it really well, scrape down the sides and we're going to leave it for another 12 hours. Here we are on day two in the morning. Again we're not going to add anything to this, we're just going to stir it. You can start to see it's changing its texture a bit, it's getting a bit runny, a few little bubbles in there. Mix it up really, really, really well. Add in lots of oxygen, that will help feed the yeast. What we're doing is we're just leaving this batter for the first few days just to grow enough um, yeast in there and we'll know by, by its activity before we start to, to feed it. Day two in the evening it's starting to show more signs of activity. There's a fair few bubbles there but again we're not adding anything we're just going to stir it all up and give it lots more oxygen. Mixing, mixing, mixing and scrape down the sides. And cover it up again till the morning. Day three, the starter has come alive. It's a bit hard to see, but there are lots more bubbles. It's starting to get a little bit frothy. Um, it's ready now to start feeding. So rather than adding lots of flour to what we've got, we're going to um, get a clean container and add three tablespoons of flour to that, new, new flour, two tablespoons of filtered water, and only three tablespoons of the existing young starter culture. The reason why we do it this way is that we keep our quantities under control. If we just add a new flour and water to the bowl of starter that I had, before we know, know it we would end up with a bucket load, which we don't want. Mix it really, really well. And keep mixing <laughs> and scrape down the sides. So that's our first um, first feeding side, uh, cycle. Alright, this is what it looks like after you've fed it. So here we are, day three in the evening. It's got some bubbles in there, it's starting to look more alive. So we're just going to keep that discarding and feeding cycle going. So we're tipping out all but about two to three tablespoons of the starter put the discarded portion into your compost or into your garden then we're feeding again with three tablespoons of organic whole wheat flour and two tablespoons of water. Filtered water is really important you don't want to use um, water that's really highly chlorinated or anything like that it might kill off the, the, um, the goodies in the starter. So mix it really well and scrape down the sides. The, the reason we scrape down the sides is just to keep the sides of the jar really clean and that prevents any mould or anything else forming on the sides of the jar. So day three in the evening after mixing and this is day four so it's clearly risen up a fair bit, it's getting a lot more uh, stronger culture so m the yeast is populating really well in the culture. You can see there's quite a few bubbles in there um, and we're just gonna, you can actually see the air in there when I stir it 
when you pick it up you can see there's quite a lot of a lot of gas um, being uh, being developed in the starter so we're just going to keep on going with those feeding cycles stir it up really well tip out all but a couple of tablespoons then add more flour. Today I'm starting with bread flour. So I normally feed my starters with bread flour. So uh, at this point it's okay to do that. The culture is established enough. All it really needs now is food. So you can keep going with the whole wheat if you want or you can change to bread flour, you can change to any flour that you like. Um, the whole wheat's really important in the beginning because the because the flour is made from the whole grain it has lots of um, natural yeast and things on the grain which which help make the starter but once that's got going you can use bread flour that's fine so mix it up really well and scrape down the sides you can also wipe the rim with a clean cloth just to keep it kinda neat and tidy alright so this is day four really late at night we went out to see a band so this is about 1.30 in the morning um, it's quite frothy at this point it's really getting going so again I'm just repeating with the feeding cycle um, it's had a lot longer to sit normally I'd feed it about 7 p.m. so this has been there quite a while so same again discard all but two to three tablespoons of the starter and feed it again with the three tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of water mix it all up and scrape down the sides you just very repetitive this process it's not hard at all. So we leave that for another 12 hours. So we actually left this one until the, the next evening given that we fed it so late the night before. It's smelling really yeasty. It's starting to really smell like a sourdough starter at this point. It's really bubbly. You can see all the tiny little bubbles there. It's a bit out of focus but you can you get the idea. It's really frothy. It's starting to really get a high amount of yeast in the in the batter. I'm just swapping to a new fresh glass now. You don't have to do this, you can keep using the same glass but I'm just um, starting with a new one. So three tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of starter and two tablespoons of water. It's the same amount every time. That way you can manage your amounts and you're not wasting too much. mix it all up same again mix it really really well add lots of oxygen in there and scrape down the sides so this is day five in the evening here we are in the morning of day six it's clearly got lots of um, bubbly action it's getting getting really really getting going now lots of air in there smelling really good so again same process we just keep repeating this cycle every 12 hours essentially um, until we reach about the 10 10 day mark okay day six in the evening again lots of bubbles super active really really well on its way lots of tiny little bubbles plus big bubbles really frothy it's getting really good so again keep repeating this cycle feeding every 12 hours here's the starter on day 7 in the morning looking good here it is day 7 in the morning after I fed it and here it is in the evening so it's doubling in size now it's it's this is what you want keep feeding every 12 hours until you reach at least 10 days on day 10 I started adding a bit of rye flour to the mix you can really feed your starter with any flour you like day 11 it's rising really well you can see there's a bit of whole grain flour in there it's really frothy it's super active 
It's great. So at this point, your starter has a strong enough culture to start making a loaf of bread. You can also start to store it in the fridge so you don't have to feed it twice a day. This is a little loaf that I made using this starter at about day 11. So it works, it, it, will raise a, it will raise a dough and you can make bread. It doesn't have the best texture. The older and more mature the starter gets, um, the better bread it will make. Thank you so much for watching and thanks also for your patience in waiting. I know a lot of you waited a long time for this video. Thanks so much.